anything but dull. In 2009, they went up. In 2010, they went straight back down. In 2011, it was up again. Are you spotting the pattern? Well, Richard Adams spent Saturday seeing if the boys from Buckinghamshire would once again be trading places. Volatile markets, unpredictable trends, and a life lived by the virtue of what goes up must come back down again. I'm not talking about the state of the stock market, but rather the trials and tribulations of Wickham Wanderers. This is the third time we're staring relegation in the face in the past 10 years, and it's like a long, slow illness. You start getting a heavy cold around Christmas time, and you're trying to stave off pneumonia, and now we're teetering on the edge. To achieve sort of League One status at the end of this season would be as good as promotion last year. This division, in my opinion, is a big step from League Two. With teams like Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United, Charlton in this league, you're talking players on thousands of pounds a week and I think there's a big difference. The next 90 minutes are the most crucial in Wickham season. Defeat will mean almost certain relegation, but a win will see them take their fate to the final day. Just two minutes remaining and leading 3-2, Wickham had possible survival within their grasp, but two quick goals meant the Chairboys were condemned to lead two. Sums the season up today. The, the performance where we've played very, very well and conceded uh, goals. Um, you know, late on in the game, we've scored goals at this level, uh, but we've conceded far too many. That's why we, <laughs> we've been uh, relegated. Everyone's gutted, you know. It's uh, it's a real, it's a real bad one because uh, obviously if we'd have won, we still would have kept it alive for next week, and that would have been one heck of a game up at Sheffield. So everyone's dif disappointed and devastated, and. Uh, I'm sure that all the fans are too. And you want to be here next season? I see no reason why, um, but uh, that's up to other individuals. But I don't see, uh, you know, I'll be here as long as they want me here. So a tough day for all connected at Wickham, and we'll talk about them in a moment. But their defeat was good news for Leighton Orient, who went to Hartlepool on Saturday. Though in